Form Ranger is a Google Apps script written by Andrew Stillman from New Visions for Public Schools. The script allows you to dynamically change the content on Google Forms. This is a quick graphic of what Form Ranger looks like. This is a spreadsheet here where I've got a column each for question one, question two, and question three. And imagine these represent the choices. So question one has is a, a multiple select question or check boxes where I could choose A, B, C, or D. When I run Form Ranger, it will take any edits that I have in this column one for question one and will actually go out and update the live form. The same for question two. So if I add in new values here in this column under question two, it'll update my multiple choice question. So we've got three types of questions that it works with, either a checkbox, multiple choice, or a list type of question in a Google form. So here's the form, here's the sample form. Let's just pretend I'm doing a reading log and I have three questions that I want to ask my students. Who is your teacher? And this is uh, selecting from a list. What book do you want to read? Like let's say they're giving a, get, choosing a new book each week. And of the books that were assigned last week, which ones have you already read? There they could choose more than one if they wanted to. So here's how I can update the options on each of these form questions. Let's take a look at the edit form. In this case, I've just created these questions. This one is to choose from a list, and I've left them blank. At this point, I don't have to fill these in. Normally, when you create a form, you can type each of these in, or in forms now, you can copy and paste a list. But if I want to reuse this form every week and want different options, I don't want to have to go back to my form and edit it every single week. Instead, I can do it from this spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet is the form responses where it's going to fill in. Who is your teacher? Which book do you want to read? Which of the books have you already read? In a second sheet in this spreadsheet, I've created one called Form Choices. Here I have one column that corresponds to each question on the form. So I have teachers, the books that are being assigned for this week, and last week's books. So if I want to quickly just go in and fill in who, out, who are my teachers, and now that I've got all the teachers filled in, I can go ahead and install the Form Ranger script. Go to Insert, Script, and I'm going to search the script gallery for form ranger all one word look for the one that's submitted by nvscripts at gmail.com and install it like you would any other script if you get this little pop-up like this just refresh the page a couple of times sometimes it works if you get an error, you can close this, and the first time that you go ahead and run it, you'll get the same authorization pop-up again. After the script successfully installs, you'll run initial configuration, and you'll work your way through the settings. When I go back to the Form Ranger menu now, there are basically three steps or three options. The main one that you do use, though, is this first one, Assign Form Items to columns. When I open this, it will take a look at the form and it will read the questions on the form and ask me what I want to do with them, if I want to populate the options from a particular column. So it went ahead and read, here's question one, who is your teacher, question two, what book do you want to read, and question three. It gives you the type of question as well. So in this case, all three of these I want to populate from columns. So I check, check the box, I choose the sheet from my spreadsheet where I want to pull in the choices. And this will take a look at that sheet and it'll take a look at all of the columns and it'll give me those here. So I think it's really important that you name your spreadsheets logically but also name the columns logically. It makes this part a lot easier. So I'll repeat the process for my other questions. Change it to form choices and in this case I want the this week. Save your settings when you're done. If I go back over and I take a look, just by me saving it, automatically my reading log form has been updated. So who's your teacher? It pulls in the information there. I'm in my edit mode here, so I can't see that drop down. But here I have all of these uh, book choices in the right order. If I go back to my form and I refresh the page, you'll see that automatically my form has been updated. So let's say I don't like these in this way. I want to actually put them in alphabetical order. So here's a quick way of going doing that. If you go back to the form, I select the range, 
and I go to my data, and I sort range by this column alphabetically. I can do that for both this week and last week. All right. Now if I go back to my Form Ranger menu, it, if I take a look at the form here, it's still in the wrong order. It hasn't refreshed. Here I go to the Form Ranger menu, and I manually refresh the form. And as soon as the form has done, you can see now that it has actually put them in alphabetical order. When I refresh my overall form, same idea. You can see that they're put in the right order. So I didn't have to actually edit the form at all. It edits it for me. Some other options that you have here are to set the triggers for the form refresh. There are basically three options. You can, four technically, you can do it manually as I've just done, or every time the form, a form is submitted, it can be updated, every time the spreadsheet is edited, or on a time basis every five minutes. In another screencast later, I'll show you how to use these options to dynamically change the options on the form without opening the spreadsheet. It will do it automatically. Okay. So that again, here's the little graphic again of how Form Ranger works. If I uh, take the, I assign the values from one column to a particular question on this uh, question on the form. If I make any updates to these column values, it automatically will update the form for us. Once again, that's the Form Ranger script by Andrew Stillman with New Visions for Public Schools. If you have any questions, you can leave comments down below the like button on this video, or feel free to contact me on Twitter or Google+.